going on guys? We are in North Florida again in Osceola National Forest. Basically we're just going to spend the day driving around the forest, hopping around some different spots, fishing different bodies of water. Right now we got this little creek behind me that I'm going to be fishing. Uh, goal for the day is to catch some different species, explore the forest, and have a good time. So we're going to be pan fishing for the most part, ultralight fishing. Got my Legend Elite panfish from St. Croix. Going to start out with some small soft plastics and really I just want to catch some fish. Have a good day out here and explore the uh, the forest. So stay tuned. Hope we get into some fish. All right, so we're going to be starting out with a little one thirty-second ounce jig head with a Anno Subterra soft plastic from Euro Tackle. I hope I can get some fish in this creek. Looks pretty quick moving. Fairly deep. Very tannic, super dark water. The side quest for today is going to be to get a redfin pickerel. So that's one I don't have in my life list. It's the smallest member of the uh, Essex genus or the pike genus. So I know they're in, in here. I don't know about this creek specifically, but I know they're in this forest. So I would love to get one of those. Alright, so I've been fishing here for a little bit more than 30 minutes now, not even so much as a nibble. Didn't even see any fish in here, no mosquito fish, no little minnows. So I know it's the middle of winter, so that might make fishing a little tougher, but there's still got to be some fish out here. So I think I might switch spots, try to go find either another creek or some little ponds that I could fish. So this is not spot number two, this is spot number five or six. I spent all morning driving all over the place, fished a couple different creeks and ponds and whatnot, and got nothing so far. So I was just kind of driving through, found this little roadside ditch, let's fish here for a little bit. Oh, fish on. Yes, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yes. Yes, redfin pickerel. Yes. Out of this little ditch. I cannot believe that. All right, this is this is awesome. All right, so we got a little redfin pickerel. This is one of the fish I've wanted to catch from my life list for years now. I fished four, five, six spots today, and it came out of this little roadside ditch. That was really unexpected. I'm so happy I stopped here for a few seconds. Beautiful fish. Nice little red fins. Oh, this is one of my favorite catches of my life. Beautiful fish. All right, so I've spent about three hours now already this morning driving all over this forest, fishing all these different bodies of water, little creeks, ponds, lakes, and this little roadside ditch behind me that I was just gonna drive right on by produce the only fish of the day and a redfin pickerel. I am so happy I got that fish. We'll fish for a little bit longer here, and then we'll, we'll, we'll find another spot, but I don't care if I catch anything else today. That one fish was worth it. Oh. I have fished this little ditch pretty heavily for the last half hour. Only that one pickerel showed up. So I think we're gonna leave here and try to find a couple more spots and see if we can get another one. All right, so honestly, I lost track of how many spots I fished now. I think this is spot seven, maybe? It's a little bit of a bigger lake pond type thing that I've been fishing today. So hopefully there's some more fish in here. I would love another redfin pickerel, but if not, after three hours, four hours of fishing, I just want to get some more fish than just that one. Thank you. 
Oh, fish on. That's a big one. Oh, that's a large mouth. Not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. All right, I was not expecting a large mouth, but I don't mind it. Fish number two for the day. Fish on. Oh, what is that? A uh, largemouth, number two. Come on up here. All right, fish number three, second one out of here. Nice little largemouth bass. Is that a fish? Oh, it's a fish. Didn't even feel the hit. What is that, another bass? Yeah, another bass. Didn't even feel the hit. This is a different looking largemouth. Alrighty, fish number three out of here, another largemouth. Nicer pattern on this guy. I thought it might have been a different species of bass, but I am pretty sure large bass are the only species uh, found in this forest. So we're, we're putting a killing on these little large mounts in here, which I don't mind, action is action. But there's a lot of panfish in here, like dollar sunfish. I don't know about here specifically, but in this forest, I believe there's dollar sunfish, mud sunfish, a couple other smaller sunfish, which I think might be too small for this. But wouldn't even mind a warm mouth at this point. Just something, something out of the usual, something I don't get to catch too often. fish on. Another large mouth. Doesn't seem like there's too much, in, oh, just dropped it. Oh well, like I was saying, doesn't seem like there's too much in here besides these uh, large mouths. So I'll make a few more casts and then we might move over and try to find one more good spot. All right, so that's gonna do it. I lost track of how many uh, places I fished at today. I think it was somewhere around eight. Unfortunately, only caught fish in two spots, uh, the little roadside ditch where I got the red fin, and then that last kind of pond lake that I showed you. Uh, I got three large mouths and lost two more. So that spot, pretty good for large mouths, but that one red fin really just made my day. The reason I like trying these new kind of places and driving all over the place is to get new species for my life list. And the red fin was a fish that I've wanted to catch for a really long time. They're not necessarily rare, they're just not very widespread. So in the areas that they're found in, like Osceola National Forest, uh, they should be pretty common. So I'm not surprised that I got one. I am kind of surprised where it came from. That creek that I fished in the beginning, a couple of the other spots that I didn't show you, I thought those would have produced uh, more red fins and more fish. Unfortunately, got skunks and, uh, skunked in those, but I'm so happy I stopped at the roadside ditch. I, I was planning on driving right past it, but I thought, you know, let me give it a shot and caught that one red fin. So that's gonna do it. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is, I think four o'clock, so I fished about seven hours today. So I didn't get too many fish uh, in seven hours, but yeah, the one red fin was perfect. So I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys next time.